a lot of people have come to discover that sulfates are bad for you so if you have sulfate in your shampoo they tell you not to use a sulfate based shampoo because it can dry out your hair like too often and you don't really want that hello guys welcome back thank you so much for watching this video if today is your first time welcome and thank you so much i promise you you're going to learn something good i have a quick tip for you guys today i talk about skincare on a regular basis but i just wanted to delve into some issues we don't usually address so it's not just enough to say use this for this use this for this sometimes you have to sit back and look at the root cause of some of these things and you have to think of some things that you're not doing right so today is just about dry skin i'm not going to be talking about how to use some particular things to like take care of your dry skin nah what i'm going to be talking about today is a particular ingredient that everybody who has dry skin should like run away from or run away just run away don't use it if you can don't use it ever again and that culprit is sulfate so there are many shampoos we use men use shampoo women use shampoo almost everybody uses shampoo so this is not to say it's particular to one gender even babies have their shampoo shampoo is something that we use and we all use like depending on your kind of regimen for your hair or for any other part of your body you're using it for but it's not really about shampoo there's an ingredient in shampoos that okay maybe in recent times because of the natural hair trend a lot of people have come to discover that sulfates are bad for you so if you have sulfates in your shampoo they tell you not to use a sulfate based shampoo because it can dry out your hair like too often and you don't really want that that is what gives rise to like dandruff or like hair fall because if your hair is too dry and too brittle it definitely is going to like shed and fall off so a lot of people are like tending towards the sulfate free shampoos and that is what they are sticking to i also like stopped using like sulfate based shampoos in fact it's like more popular in the market almost all the shampoos you get are sulfate based but there are also some that these days they try not to involve or try not to include sulfate and that is what a lot of us are going for so apart from shampoo what about your body wash like your body wash also contains sulfate sulfate really is that ingredient that helps to make the foam or to make your soap foam and ladder that's really what it does so it's like a very strong base it really does its work it's like a strong base because it helps to remove dirt from your body it helps to remove oil from your body it helps to remove grime for your body it is what makes your soap foam and ladder very well and i'm sure a lot of us want that like i can't imagine having my bath and the soap i'm using they're telling me i'm using soap but doesn't ladder very well like it doesn't make sense to me so that is where sulfates come in so a lot of what we use on our bodies have sulfate but guess what there are sulfate free shampoos there are sulfate free body washes so if you have dry skin you should actually stay clear from sulfate because in its bid to like wash away dead oil and all those things from your body it's also stripping your body from the natural oils like you still need oils like i tell people that if you complain about acne and you're telling me you want something that will not make you have an oily face i won't subscribe to that because naturally your body is still supposed to secrete oils and everything if it doesn't secrete oil at all then there's an issue if you have a dry skin then it's okay it's just like fine but when you now use something that is like stripping it all out from like your body is not too good because your body will become very very dry you're not yet as old as like 50 but yet your skin becomes wrinkly it sags and all that it becomes very ashy so you don't want that so one ingredient people that have dry skin need to stay left from is sulfate this is my body wash is dove this is not sponsored in any way but if you can read this it has zero percent sulfates like is gentle they call it microbiome gentle and it has zero percent sulfate i don't have dry skin but i think it's just in the trend of not using anything that has sulfate i saw this at the store and i bought it immediately because i was so happy when i just saw oh sulfate free and it really does ladder very well so there's different degrees of sulfate there are like two major categories of sulfate and i'm just going to explain it to you in a bit so there's sodium laurel sulfate and there's sodium laureate sulfate guys 
sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium laureate sulfate they are two different things so it's the sodium lauryl sulfate that poses more of a threat to those with dry skin anytime you are buying anything from the store make sure that it is the sodium lauryl sulfate you are running away from so and that thing we should also know is that don't just say sulfate is bad you know you need to know the one you're supposed to like check the ingredients and totally avoid is sodium laurel sulfate the laurel sulfate is still a lot better but the laurel sulfate is the one that really strips your body from the natural oils it's supposed to have so like i said these two sulfates have similar names and functions but it is the sodium laurel sulfate that poses more of a threat to those that have dry skin this is because it binds the proteins that make up your skin more than the sodium laureate sulfate so because of that protein binding that sodium laurel does it has a higher potential to irritate your skin so it's not even just for dry skin even for sensitive skin so a lot of people can tolerate sodium laureate sulfate better than the sodium laurel sulfate so if you have dry skin this is what you should really be worried about if you think your skin just keeps getting drier and drier and you're using everything at your disposal which you think you can use but yet nothing is getting better you might need to check two things number one your shampoo and number two your body wash so even though they say sulfates are bad or that they are kind of like an irritant because of the way it strips off your body oils i've also broken down this into two for you there are like two major kinds of like sulfate so find the one that works for you most times the culprit is the sodium laurel sulfate the sodium laureate sulfate is a lot better so just check this anytime you are buying your next body wash or your shampoo if you have dry skin you should consider this even if you have sensitive skin you should also consider this because it can also be an irritant to you so guys this is my video for you today if you found this useful or if you found it helpful don't fail to give this a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video because your friend needs to know about this also follow me on instagram at the tomi adenuga and i hope to see you next time stay close for more videos and this stay beautiful bye